higher up places in this game. It's not a good place for me to be. In fact, I'm pretty scared I'm gonna die. Cause just the like the the hat like the environment hazards like thorns and stuff on the ground do like twenty. Oh damage. yeah, I know what you're talking about there. Not the underground jungle. I'm not stupid enough to go into the underground jungle yet. What's an underground jungle? The underground jungle is just the caves under the jungle, but they have special, very difficult mobs, and it's where you get access to things like the uh, blade of grass, which is one of the most powerful, easy mode. It's the largest sword in the game, except. It used to be. It might have been taken. That title might have been taken when Excalibur was added. I'm now in the desert. I've made it past the crimson. The blade of grass is a very useful sword. It's it's massive. It does a lot of damage. It's nice. It's hard to miss with. Unless you're mean, you can't hit crap. No. I'm in a jungle no. now. I no, think. This thing is like twice the size of your character sprite. If you miss with it, you deserve to die. Crap is that? Some kind of weird F mushroom. You okay. slimes! I'm just gonna fly away on my magic carpet. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna die. I have 19 health, and there are a of bombs that do so much damage. Underground? Oh. No, it's not the underground jungle. Probably. It, it, it'll have like speckly dirt and it'll have vi creeper vines and no no, the no there tree. are vines everywhere it'll have enemies that are vines that will attack you yeah there's always gonna be vines everywhere so I don't believe you there's he a pretty could, good he could have he's 1800 meters behind me or feet behind me sorry the he, thing is he's in a pyramid Oh, you're in the. Rather, you're in the desert. Boom! That was a failure to shoot it. There you go, Bradley. You could go down there now. I found a beach ball and some arrows. I must be. I'm gonna go exploring with Bradley down here. Tell the truth. The is it that uh, pyramid cave thing? Yep. Oh, uh, I've already emptied that place out. Really? Somehow yeah. I passed Bradley. How did I cover you with white stuff? How did you even pass me, Bradley? I just want to be out of the jungle. The jungle is. I'm not geared for the. Oh God! There's more crimson once you get past the jungle. I kind of want to be back in the jungle now. Whoa! What kind of wood was that? Rich ma 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 mahogany. 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 I can't pronounce these weird words. That's not a weird word. That's a pretty common word. That's a weird word. It is for me. It's not within my five letter, five letter, five letter dictionary. Apparently, flutter is now a word too. Why did you Flutter. put scaffolding going up? So I could get up. I didn't have the. Uh... I just watched a slime commit suicide. Hey, look! Attacking vines. Let me not go down there. Oh, that yeah, that really is the underground jungle. If there are actually like attacking vines. Ah! Uh, whoa! I had ten gold. We need a piggy bank. I'm gonna buy a piggy bank, guys. I'm fine with that. Aren't, aren't, isn't like our piggy bank inventory separate from every, everyone else? Yeah. Good. It is specific from person to person. Ow. Ow. Is that a bat? Alright, our piggy bank is going on top of the workbench. Or the anvil. Or where will it let me place this? It's going on top of the bookshelf. It is most definitely here. Yeah, because I think you need like a shelf to place that on. It goes on top of the bookshelf. Oh my god. Well, I'm at home. How so? Because I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dying by a bat. Yeah, it's a really good place to hide your, to hide your piggy bank, you know. 
I just remembered. I just remembered. We could put everything in there. Yeah, you can put almost any item in there. Yeah. So, how did you get back down to your mine? Way over here, that deep hole that we dug? I have a uh, magic carpet. Uh. Anytime I press space while in midair, it'll let me float, and it completely stops all movement without damaging me. So I just pressed space directly before I hit the ground. You gotta, you gotta get out there, develop those skills, and get, get good, get fast, so you can get cool stuff. No, oh, I, I'm, I actually am currently coming down. How? Water. I clearly, I just used water to get down here. Be careful about how much water you send down here, dude. I didn't send much. At least I don't think I did. Look at Grace Line. Yeah. Perfect. You're a lot Probably. stronger than... The above ground sometimes? Yeah. Oh, skeletons? Kill them. They sometimes drop hooks, which are used to make grappling hooks, which is what you will come to consider the most useful tool that you will ever own in this game. Except until we get the vine whip, which is basically a three-pronged... Oh, jungle bats. The jungle, the jungle mobs are are very surprisingly, annoyingly, really difficult. Yes. Uh, no, I just now remembered. I have I have a fast heal, and now I'm dead by a black slime. I just can't seem to get down as far as you. It's just pitiful. Um, you don't, Bradley. <laughs> if you did it again, we would flood the whole place, I'm sure. And of course, you're gonna Hi. die getting down, getting to the area where the water is. No, I'm re mid recording, mother. Yeah. You want me to prove it? Yeah. You want me to prove it? Hello. Oh, what's going on, Bradley? His mother. Well, this is embarrassing. Doing what? Intranet. Meet Bradley. No. It does. It's got room to breathe. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys. I'm gonna have to cut it short there. All right, guys. All right. Guess you gotta go. Mm-hmm. Mom called Pro. me. I'm gonna keep recording though. All right, later, Joe. <sighs> later. I don't think I don't think I could get any lower down anymore. Why not? Because if I add any more water, it's gonna come all on you. Oh no! I'm like, I'm yeah, so far down. Mind. The it, water, it the water you throw will not reach me. I'm far enough down. Awesome life crystals. Darn! I thought I'd found the way that you had it been, but no. Oh god, what is that? What is what? Some kind of green thing. A skeleton, okay. Yeah. It's probably, yeah. <laughs> Silver coin, copper coin. Nothing useful. If they do drop a hook, all you need is some lead, make a chain, and uh, I think it's three chains to make a grappling hook and then you can just uh, all you have to do is keep the thing in your inventory you point press E and it will launch out a grappling hook you can it's so much easier to get out of deep holes and to get it's it's like a, an explorer's best friend uh -huh. hey are the jellyfish evil on here yes they will injure you if you run into them okay just making sure Oh, crap, that's water. Oh, crap. No. If you landed in water from a high height, you ought to be thankful. No, it wasn't a very high height at all. You just happened to land in water. Yeah. And then it's like, crap. <laughs> it it, it, it was drown? dark here, so... 
am I gonna drown? Or yeah, yeah. this is why we need like a, an alternate light source. I wish I wish we could um, go ahead and start breaking crimson hearts, because then we might ha get a chance at a uh, ball of light spell. That would actually be very useful. I mean, it is literally it is the most dim ass piece of shit light you will ever see, but it follows you around and it shines light in the water. It's a useful thing to have. Until eventually you get fairy bells and then you just spawn a fairy and it's all good. Oh, I got a flare gun. Cool. I hear those are pretty useful too. Yeah, for lighting up distant... areas of the map. Also, I got some glow sticks. Wish we had better stuff than these lead pickaxes. Hey, I'm think I'm grateful for my lead pickaxe. I'm used to having greater stuff than this. Oh, flares work underwater. That's news to me. Oh, I'm far enough down that the music changed. Uh, undead miner. Uh, those have, I think they have a chance of dropping a, uh, mine or something, but I'm not entirely sure. They might very well not. I'm headed towards you. Stay still if you can, so I can actually navigate to you. I'm slowly making my way out of here, sir. So. Well, wait for Ouch. me. Gravel. No. Silt. Anything, that, any block that falls is so dangerous in this game. Hey, there you are. You're gonna be the first one to witness my, uh, or not. <laughs> I died from sight. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> well then. I really can't get back down there without a bunch of wooden platforms. <laughs> you have a bunch of wooden platforms. Uh, no, sorry. No. Oh. Hey there, party girl. Uh, I don't really have... I can't even buy anything. God. Talk to you later. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna put more money into my piggy bank. Yeah, pretty much every time you die or respawn for whatever reason or another I'd recommend tossing as much cash as you can into your piggy bank every time you're at home you should well yeah but I usually don't head back home unless I'm dead so. did I even get any kind of ore I don't believe I have got copper ore that's it don't feel bad if you didn't, because I've been pretty much strip mining this place. I'd be surprised if there was a lot of ore left. I'm trying to gather as much amethyst as I can, but there's just not a lot of it. I can make it a copper a bow and a copper sword, which are actually pretty bad. What did I need? What did I need copper for? Armor. That was it. Yeah, the thing. It's for your it's for your amethyst staff, your weapon wise it is. But if you want armor, copper is the stage we're going for first. Just cause it's cheap, easy to come by. Oh, 
Also, jellyfish drop glow sticks, so you should probably kill them. That's they... nice to know, okay. Yeah, they drop glow sticks. Amethyst staff, uh, do we have any amethyst? We have not enough. It takes eight gem to build a staff. I There are, I think, three in that chest up there, and I have one. I don't even have enough copper, so... It takes ten copper bars. There should be... Oh, well, I have a lot of copper bars with me, so... Yeah, yeah, we have enough copper, don't worry. There's three amethysts. We got an emerald, topaz, sapphire. Uh, hand those to the guy. Like, uh, just walk up to him and click on crafting, and it'll give you an option where you can put something in a box. I know. And it'll tell you what you can craft with it. I'm guessing gemstones is what I need for magic. It's what you need to craft the magic staves, yeah. So, Topaz is... Tell me what mineral it is, I'll tell you. Yellow can... phase blade? Sand uh, gun? Yeah, it tells you everything you can craft topaz with it. Even stuff that comes like that. That requires... 10, 10, and 8 Topaz. 10? T-I-N 10? Yeah. Uh, no, that's not on this world, sorry. So no topaz staff. Uh, emerald staff that requires tungsten bar, ten of them, and then eight. Yeah, we staff. have tungsten. Yep. Emerald's hard to come by this. Sapphire, it, ha it requires ten silver and eight sapphire. I mean, let me just put those back. Come to think of it, I actually have these things called uh, climbing claws, which allow me to cling to walls and slow down a fall, so I could have been just using those to get down the tunnel the entire time. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dumb. Go look for more falling stars. There seems there seems to always be a bunch towards the crimson. <laughs> Have you noticed no. that? Yeah, I don't know if falling stars still do this or not, but they used to do a lot of damage to mobs, like nine hundred and something. It I was, believe they do. I believe they still call it. It was it was ridiculous. And it was hilarious, especially when like you were fighting a boss and you were about to die. <laughs> falling star. Falling star comes and kills it. Like I mean, it was kind star. of annoying, but it was like it I was kind of annoying, but at the same time, it was funny. God, why are y'all randomly swarming you? I'm not even in the crimson. Ah, oh, it can't get to me down here now, can you? Hmm? Nope, I wouldn't nope. test him. I jumped out trying to run and it didn't work out in my favor. Got massacred by criminal and yeah. You know what that means? Time to go drop. Actually, no, that I'm just gonna keep going this way. Tell the truth, because I don't think there's any more fallen stars in the other way, so I'm gonna keep going this way. I mean, they kind of fall randomly from the sky. I need to do, I need to really make more torches because I've been going on with three torches for who knows how long. The turning day, I think it is. You said you wanted a colored light source. Uh, take ice and torches. Make a really pretty white light that looks so much better than the basic torches and stuff. No, I just like that blue candle. <laughs> However, I have a yellow marigold. What is that? Ah, uh, you use that to color your items. You see, you press escape. You see over in the in the right side dyes. Put it yes. there. It'll color. It'll color your armor. Or rather, the dye will. I don't know if the actual flower itself will. If you can just stick a flower. Hold a flower up to your arm. It changes the color. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I 
That'd be pretty cool. I don't I don't know if that's how that works or not, but I know you can dye stuff, and I know that the yellow flowers and everything like that are how you make it. So it's goo used for making anything else. What do you mean, like the gel you get from killing yeah, slime? Yeah, is gel used for anything besides torches? Yeah, it's flamethrower ammo. Uh, flamethrower is a ranged weapon, by the way. And your armor will be geared up to give, or your armor will give you bonuses towards your magic, so it won't be a lot of use for you to use something like a flamethrower. Yeah. But, uh, that's not to say it's not fun. But, uh, damn it, bat. Sorry, hold on a second. Yeah, it's used for that. It's used to make certain things like sticky bombs, which aren't really as good as they sound. And a, a couple of other things like that. You can make sticky bombs. Sticky. You can make sticky glow sticks if you happen to have glow sticks. Okay. Not, not really a whole lot of use to them, but they are useful things. To, it is useful to have around. It's just annoying when you have like two stacks of 900. <laughs> and then it's just like, dude, <laughs> you need to stop picking this stuff. I, can, I honestly wish there was like a filter to your inventory to where you could like turn off picking up certain items. That would be useful. Especially in like Minecraft. Stop picking up rotten flesh. <laughs> hey, I use rotten flesh quite a lot. Nope. The only time I use it as a food source is if, like, I don't. I, I, I don't I, use it as a food source. I use it to breed other people's dogs and make them mad. You no, know, you could do that, right? Wait, what? You could use rotten flesh to breed dogs. How? Don't know how it works. It just works. I do that all the time to people. They hate me. Yeah, but it's really annoying when you're walking around like four stacks of rotten flesh in your inventory. Yeah, that that, that is when it does get annoying. And it's just like, dude, you would you would think you would stop picking this crap up. You can't eat it. Yeah, it's not safe for you. <clears throat> Racking up some money now. No, I just now realized we had five stars in the other chest on the other side of the thing. Bunch of wood too that I put in here that I forgot all about. What are lenses for? Uh, I told you to uh, craft the the item that you use to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Day bloom seeds. Throw those. Throw anything regarding plants except for water leaf away. Day bloom you use to make shine po or glow potions or something like that, where it, it makes you glow for a few minutes. I know. Not, not long enough to be worth it, really. Yeah, I can just climb my way back out of this impossibly deep hole awesomeness so now I'm the only one that actually has a way out of that place oh it's so strange seeing the world hi have you seen this yes I have I haven't seen you with it but I've, I've seen it before I forgot what I was gonna do oh I, have I that am buff getting now. the water candle effect now I am too sorry bud I'll be mine Hey, come here. Life crystal? Right click. Hold on, let, let me put this water candle in my safe. Right click. I guess I actually need to be holding it. Yum. More health.
Dude, I got a cool pickaxe. What'd you get? Yeah. That's nice. Long range. Bone pickaxe. Fifty percent pickaxe power. Hmm. We okay. have enough lenses. We can fight the Eye of Cthulhu if you want. We do. If you, if you if you think we can survive it. Uh, let's go ahead and take the chance. All right. Well, then let me smelt up all this copper and see if I can make us some armor since Bradley left. Not willingly, but still. <laughs> It's unfortunate that he does have to go so randomly. Hey, it's during the daytime, but I'm not dumb. There's some fallen stars in this chest when I'm done with it for you. Which chest? The ch the chest on the far left. Same one I we keep all the ores and bars and everything in. But I'm I'm digging around in that chest right now. So uh, yeah, no wonder I can't open it. Like <laughs> why can't I open this? Why can't I open it? I have cacti and sand and stuff from when Bradley was screwing about. Alright. Here, have some bottles in case you want to do some alchemy. Some alchemy. Oh, a beach ball. This thing's the coolest, so. I wish there was a sort inventory button. I know. I, like, I always end up with so much crap in Terraria. Oh, I actually have four shine potions. Did you get four shine potions? I don't know. I also have two recall potions and 20 glow sticks. I have five recall potions and 11 lesser healer potions. Uh, how many 11... How many lesser healing potions? Eleven. Okay. And then twenty-six bottles. God, apparently I'm a drunk. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here in right front of me. Here. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this clip until we go and fight the Eye of Cthulhu, whatever it is. Yeah, that's it. Eye of Cthulhu.